I double dog dare you to do that without a smile on your face. You could call them FUD lore if you want it to, but one way or another, suppressors have this mystique about them and then people come up with their own conclusions. Some of that's based on maybe things that used to be true back in the day, but today, not really problems that we have anymore. So I got Caleb here with Silencer Co. is hopefully gonna help illuminate a little bit more on these suppressor myths. Do my best. So the first one is suppressors decrease muzzle velocity. Yeah. Is that actually the case? Not at all. Uh, if anything, it's actually going to increase a hair, but the, the only people that are really going to notice a major change in velocity that they need to take into account are going to be like our PRS guys, our super long range shooters. Otherwise, I mean, if you're just out plinking with your AR or whatever, it's not a concern. Um, like if you sit down and chrono it, you might see a hair more but it's not consistent it's not it, there's so many variables that go into it but nothing to worry about is it a hair more because of the way the gas is channeled and funneled yeah okay. yeah so because of the way we're, we're kind of slowing those gases down our baffles are moving things like that it's going to change the way that that gas is reacting around the round at the end of the barrel the other one is uh suppressors decrease accuracy yeah. and i know that um in y'all's video which was a few years old at this point, I saw the tri-lug on there, depending yep. on where you mount it on mm -hmm. the tri-lug, that that can actually uh, change your point of impact. Yes. But is that the case for any direct thread or, or yep. anything else? So there's a, there's a difference between POI shift, point of impact shift, and accuracy. That's a big thing we see mixed up a lot. Those are not the same thing. Um, accuracy is basically how are you grouping. POI shift is where is your round actually impacting out of that rifle every time. The suppressor will change your POI. Um, it's just how it is. Uh, so re-zero your optic, zero to that suppressor, especially if it's something like this. Like, this needs to be zeroed with the can that you're going to use and leave it alone. Um, that's how you're gonna be, that's how you're gonna stay on target the best. Your accuracy shouldn't be affected. The, the only time we're gonna see an accuracy change, if you're running like a pencil barrel, like super lightweight, thin barrel, and you've got a big can on the end of it, that can start to change some things a little bit. So keep that in mind if you're running a super lightweight rig and you're putting a lot of rounds down, um, especially if, as things heat up and stuff like that, could start to see some problems. Uh, but again, for most people out there, not a concern. So I also saw this video, I, I probably won't be able to find it, but it was uh, dated, let's just say. It's probably back in the 90s and there was a older gentleman who said that suppressors have a really short lifespan, so you're not going to want to shoot too much <laughs> yeah. with a suppressor on. I know the video you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's in it. Yeah. Is that the case? No. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, all, all of the suppressors we build will more than likely outlast the owner, uh, wow. if not longer. I mean, we, we these are a legacy product. We, we make suppressors to pass your children, if not their children. Um, that, yeah, that's not a concern. I mean, it's not going to, it's not going to, hurt the suppressor to shoot it like that's what it's made to do um, you're going to see some erosion depending on what you're shooting um, and depending on what your round count is but i mean we've we've seen cans with 75 plus thousand rounds and they're dirty but they look like when we made them wow. so it depends on what you're doing but yeah most most people out there aren't putting that many rounds down for a long time yeah. has it ever been the case in the past like with worse material or something? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, with different kinds of steel, aluminum is another one. Um, we only have one fully aluminum can and it's a, the Warlock 22 or, or 22 can. And it's made to be an ultra lightweight 22 can. Now, if we started running hotter stuff through that, it's gonna pose some problems, but it's rated for 22 LR only for a reason. It's aluminum. Now, if you have an all aluminum can and you start putting rifle calibers through it, yeah, you're, you're gonna start to see some problems pretty quickly. That's a, that's a weak material. Um, but with the, the kind of steels we're using, uh, yeah, man, don't worry about it. <laughs> Not a problem anymore. And the last one, suppressors are quiet enough to use without hearing protection. Now, I know for sure that's the case, at least with this 22, because we were shooting it without ear protection and it was like, it was absolutely nothing. But is that the case, generally speaking? For, for, for most things, yeah, you're, you're hearing safe. Um, now this 4570, uh, this guy, 
with a hybrid 46M or, or, or a, a regular hybrid 46, you're gonna be borderline hearing safe. Um, so the, the definition of hearing safe for a blast sound is gonna be 140 decibels. This is the unsuppressed 4570. It's got a nice break on the front of it. We're gonna do a quick sound test and a comparison with it suppressed after this. All right, so that's pretty loud. Let's see what it's like with the suppressor on. We have the Silencer Co. Hybrid 46M, and we'll see the difference. We haven't changed any audio settings or anything like that, so this is gonna be as close as we can get it to uh, being a direct comparison. Well, I can tell a difference whether I have my ear pro in or not. Obviously, I'm not going to not have ear pro for 4570 unsuppressed, but even suppressed, I guess technically it's right on the cusp of uh, being safe to shoot without ears, but let's just keep your ears for as long as you can. You might as well, right? Uh, our goal with any can we release is to keep it below 140. If we can do that, we are technically hearing safe. Now, once you start getting up in that 140 range, those high 130s, it's still pretty loud. Um, if you're shooting ARs, that's a different thing too, because now you've got a ARs, AKs, any kind of semi-auto platform like that, you've got a lot of gas coming back at you that isn't being suppressed. Sure. That action along with that gas is quite loud. I personally prefer to wear Ear Pro on just about everything. Bolt guns, especially 22s, not so much. You're perfectly fine without ears, and it's going to be personal preference. People's ears are sensitive to, to different things. Sure. Um, if I'm shooting a 4570 though, I'm gonna have ears on. It's pretty loud. 338 Lapua, it's still pretty loud. Um, now, if you're just taking one shot, if you're a hunter, it's not a huge deal. Um, it's not gonna like instantly make your ears ring like if you're shooting unsuppressed. Like it's, yeah, it takes down, it takes down the sound a lot. So uh, personal preference, but technically speaking, everything is close to hearing safe in its standard configuration. Cool. All right, well, those are the myths right there, and I just wanna let you know that you should get a suppressor, okay? You gotta get a suppressor because what we need to do is make them more common use. If we make them more common use, then we can fight the right way, fight the government the right way, more specifically, and uh, allow maybe some, a little bit more leniency on the ridiculous restrictions, in my opinion. I'm gonna get back to shooting. Hope you guys have a fantastic weekend ahead of you you only got one more day and then it's the weekend so go out there get a suppressor and then shoot and have some fun have a good one thanks for watching thanks for shopping with gun mag warehouse shop with silencer co as well stay free guys